You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. The other thing that really affected me was um, artificial sweeteners. Yeah. Like I noticed this based on my food diary. Arey, it's not just artificial sweeteners. I'm telling you, you look at a pre-packed food and it will be written fruit sugar. And you think, ah, oh, this is fruit sugar. This is very good. What is that fructose coming from? It is artificial. Only. He's not going to squeeze a fruit and extract a thing and put it in there. It is the most biggest lie there. So yes, any sugar for that matter, any sugar. So cut out sugars completely. When I say cut out sugars, most of my patients say, "Ha, ah, we cut out sugars, but we have now started stevia." No, not happening. Why are we say okay? Let's get back to why are we saying cut out sugar? Because it gives you an insulin. It gives you a sugar spike. When you get a sugar, when you eat, for example, a protein, why do they say it's good? Because, of course, there's a lot of energy. There is a sustained release of sugar, right? It's all sugar at the end, correct? You eat a sustained release carb like we Mangaloreans eat parboiled rice, which has the envelope outside. So these are sustained release carbohydrates. So they give you the sugar. You eat anything sweet. It could even be a fruit like a chikku or a you know custard apple, sita fal, what we call it. It could be even that. Minute it tastes sweet on your tongue means your body is getting sugar. It keeps getting sugar. Each time it gets sugar, a little insulin is released to digest that and store that, right? You keep giving it sugar, insulin keeps getting it. Sometime insulin doesn't work. So you get an insulin resistance. Uh, basically, when you eat carbohydrates, especially the building block of a carbohydrate is sugar, is glucose. Mm. Mm. The way your body digests that, and please chip in doctor. Mm. You, the way your body digests that is it sees, oh, okay, there's sugar in my stomach. I need to spike this hormone called insulin mm. in order to digest that this fellow. Yeah. glucose. Mm. Uh, the thing is, if you're eating too much sweet food over time, your insulin spikes so much that your body develops a condition called insulin resistance. It doesn't work then. But I, insulin is still sitting there floating, free floating, which is a very harmful thing. Uh, so it's the sugar is also harming. The insulin, which fellow is not working now, but it is sitting there. That is also not a good thing. Oh, okay. It's just yes. excess of insulin in your bloodstream. Is also not a good thing. It'll cause inflammation? Mm, yes, it'll cause inflammation. It'll cause other hormone disruptions that like an okay. LH surge. Like Then you're more getting into more depth. So all this is going to happen. That can lead to PCOS in a woman. Luteinizing hormone. <sighs> Oh my God, are you an engineer? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's yeah. LH. Yeah. If you yeah. want, go into the details. Yeah. People watch podcasts for this. Oh, lovely. So everybody wonders, right? Explain why it. PCOS happens. Now, where does it start from? How does it happen? Again, PCOS I'm bringing in because acne happens with PCOS. That's one thing that people recognize, right? Along with skin pigmentation on the neck and XYZ. So you've, let's. there are stress. There are other things that cause it. Your excessive weight, stress, all of this. But in all this, one common factor also is the, the insulin surge. Resistant insulin, there is an LH surge. So your LH is then more than the FSH. That ratio tilts. Once that tilts, there is a lot of other things that happens. In the end, what happens is your male hormone also goes up. Your DHEAs can go up. Your testosterone can go up. Your DHT can go up. Your sometimes your inflammatory female hormone, which is prolactin, can go up. That causes this red, angry, ac angry acne on people's faces with a little bit of breast tenderness. Then I know there is a prolactin race. That should be then brought down. So there's a whole gamut of hormones which actually come together or work individually to cause a hormonal acne in a woman. Even in men, it's not just testosterone, like you said. Prolactin excess can cause... Um, uh, acne. LH excess can also happen. LH surge in a man can also cause to, cause acne. So all of this can happen. New clips released at the same time that a podcast releases. This is TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe.